told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Gotta stay strong and fake a smile until I What's up, Divine Moon Goddess fam, bam? It's your Divine Moon Goddess coming at you with a little bit of tarot. All right, Pisces, you're already fucking up the cards. Pisces in the building. Let's see what's coming up for you in July. Uh, if you're, look, cards is everywhere. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. If you are coming back, welcome back. Um, we're just going to look into your July and see what's coming towards you. Um, everything you need to know about me is in the description, all my channels, all my websites, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Make sure you're liking this video, you guys. I need you to do your fucking job and like the damn videos, okay? Um, thank you. Um, other than that, let's get on into it. Uh, I'm going to do the wheel. If you know what the wheel is, great. If not, I'll explain it as I go. Uh, it's the major houses in, in your um, zodiac, in your zodiac, <laughs> major houses in your life, in areas of your life, and we'll see how that's transcribing in this reading, okay? So, let's get it, Pisces. Um, all right, all right, Spirits, Spirits, try to talk, try to talk. We got it, we got it. All right, got a bunch of new content coming for you guys. I hope that you guys will like it. Let me know, of course. Leave me a comment. Like the fucking video, right? <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. All right. So first house, uh, which is the house of Aries. It's ruled by Aries. It is the house of self, okay? Um, so it's everything to do with self-development. You, yourself, and you, Okay. Um, you have the temperance card here. So for some of you, I feel like spirit is telling you um, to be patient with yourself. Um, I feel like um, spirit is telling some of you guys that you need to heal. Um, some of you guys could be going through some type of deep healing this month of July uh, with the temperance card. But this is also balancing our energy. Um, a lot of people don't realize, even though temperance is Sagittarius energy, um, it is very much balancing fire and water. Um, so there's a little bit of, of that going on in this month. Of course, we'll look more into it and see what's going on. Major Arcanas first uh, coming out the gate. So you definitely have um, where you are uh, going through some major moves. Microphone. So hopefully that sounds better. All right. Um, second house, which is the house of Taurus. Oh. Lover's card is popping out. So for some of you, you know, the second house is ruled by Taurus. It is about our finances. It's about our money. It's about our, our um, values also. It's what we value. And some of you guys could be taking a turn on what you value as we are in the house of finances and we're getting the lover's card here, okay? Um, so some of you guys could be looking at, uh, which is another major arcana, big shit happening in the month of July, Pisces. So we have the lover's card here, which is two. This is this is a deep soulmate, 
definitely pure. It could be twin flame, divine union, whatever you want to call it, but it's definitely a strong soulmate. Um, some of you guys could just be learning how to value this connection, or there is a change in what you see and what you value in your life. I love it. I love it already. Okay. All right. Third house. Uh, which is the house of Gemini. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this for you. Um, the house of Gemini is messages. It's um, it's thoughts. It's what um, it's our intellect. It's um, communication. Ten of cups is so much love. Um, definitely still romance and still this is coming into a uh, relationship and happiness and being happy. And of course, the Gemini placement is also the twin flame uh, uh, placement because it's the house of the twins. So a lot is going on for you, Pisces, in the month of July. Beautiful love, beautiful connection already here. We're going to see where it's going to go because it's looking and starting nice. But we know when we start to clarify how quickly the tables can turn, right? Um, in the fourth house, uh, which is the house of cancer. Um, this is the house of the mother. This is the house of our soul. This is the house of children. This is the house of home, our heart, okay? Um, definitely something is hitting you from the past. Six of Cups is here. So you definitely have some past situation um, still hitting the heart space or hitting home. Um, we'll see where that's going to go. Uh, sometimes it could do with um, just... Uh, situations. We'll see. This could be anything. I don't want to kind of speculate because I'm not really getting a download, but just know that something from the past is kind of coming up in your heart space. It may be this person uh, that's coming in, or maybe it's a situation, but definitely past energy is here. Uh, the fifth house, uh, which is ruled by Leo, um, you have the hermit card in the reverse, and this is the fun house. Uh, this is our hobbies, what we like to do when we're off. This is romance. This is dating. Uh, this is procreation also. Um, there's a little bit of isolation here when it comes to the fun house. So I don't think a lot of you guys are having fun in the month of July. I feel like you're really isolating yourself off. Maybe it's because of all of this stuff going on, which is huge changes in your life. So you might be just kind of cutting yourself off to everyone, trying to figure out what's going on with this kind of energy. And you're kind of tailoring yourself like, no, I don't want to be in the dating world and I'm single and I'm, and I'm confused about what's going on with you and whoever this other person is. Because I do feel like you're attached to someone. So if you're not dating, um, you're probably still, this is still a past energy um, that you're very connected to because you're kind of cutting yourself off from any new energy coming in. The sixth house, which is the house of Virgo, um, this is the house of your day-to-day -day routine. Uh, this is um, your, um, how you just, you know, it's your day-to-day -day stuff, what you do to your day-to-day. -day. This is your, um, also your service to others. It's also diet, exercise, health, um, the death card in reverse is because we don't want something to end. We'll see if this is you kind of holding on something that needs to end. Maybe something in your day-to-day -day routine needs to end. Um, but some of you, I feel like you're holding on to someone or something that you don't want to be over. But it might be that it's time for something um, to be over, Pisces, okay? Um, the seventh house, which is the uh, house of Libra, it's also the house of marriage, partnerships, um, it's the house of contracts, legalities. We do have the page of swords in the reverse. So you and someone might not be talking. Um, I do feel like someone could be very, being very petty when it comes to the page of swords or someone could have got blocked. Um, if there was some type of separation, I definitely don't feel like you and the person are talking, especially if it's a marriage kind of situation that you and this person are, are not talking. Um, definitely feel that uh, for some of my Pisces, but we'll see where that's going when it comes to uh, the relationship and marriage house. Um, the Scorpio house, uh, which is the eighth house, which is sex, death, and rebirth. You have the two of cups. So again, uh, we have the lovers, we have the two of cups, we have the 10, we, we have a very strong soulmate connection, uh, but we are in the death and rebirth process. So right now, you know, it could be that the situation in the path is past is going through a huge transformation into uh, the month of July with the two of cups. Um, I do feel like whoever this is, you're deeply connected with, with them um, coming out in the Scorpio placement because this is very, uh, very deep, strong energy, very soul connected energy. And it's a very transformative placement in the eighth house. Uh, very strong. It's not something that you can really let go. 
Um, see, the death card is right under that two of cups. I really feel like whoever this is that you're connected to, Pisces, is very hard to let this person go. It's very hard to say goodbye. It's very hard to cut the cord with this person. Um, somewhere inside you, you know that this is your person. Not that we don't have many soulmates because we actually do, but there's something about this person that you just, that this hard to disconnect from. We'll see where this is going, if it's a real goodbye or is it a hello, right? Um, in the Sagittarius house, which is the ninth house, uh, this is what you, your traditions, your belief systems. Uh, this is also freedom or lack of freedom. It's philosophy, um, higher learning. You have the three of wands here. So there's a, a um, energy of trying to be patient or needing to be patient um, with this. Um, we'll look a little bit further because this could go so many different ways in this placement. Um, but I do feel like if you've been putting some intentions out there to change some things, spirit is, is like you need to be patient, okay? Um, being that we have the hermit right underneath it, if you've kind of retracted from this situation and you're just kind of waiting to see it blossom, spirit is telling you you're going to have to be patient. You got the temperance card here. So there's a little bit of being patient, um, trying to take a step back. Um, be understanding and kind of see how things are flowing. I think there's a reason why you're being kind of stuck here. There's something that you need to see in a different, from a different perspective. There's something that you need to change maybe about your belief systems or your traditions that are kind of hindering you. Okay. Um, in the 10th house, which is the house of career, um, this is the house of Capricorn. Um, this is our, also how we're seeing our prestige. You got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, not liking that. Um, there's definitely, uh, um, you don't have balance in your career, your work life, okay? So in our lives, we need balance. We need balance between fun and, and work and love and play and, and seriousness, okay? Um, two sixes here, six, six. So you are definitely struggling with some type of balance. This could be the struggle with balance and love in love in life. Um, you know, because we have the two sixes here. So do look at that. We do have a 10 endings again, you know. Um, so I do feel like you're coming into a space of needing to work this out. Um, the thing is with the six of pentacles in the reverse, your career or what you do for money is not as balanced and abundant that you might want. Yeah, you might be making money from it, but it doesn't bring you the joy um, that you want. And something keeps you in a very past energy. Maybe this is just a past career that you keep going through. And it's like, man, I'm tired, tired of going through the same shit, tired of being in this in this space, right? So there's something that you need to look at when it comes to your work and career life. Uh, the next placement is the 11th house, which is the house of Aquarius. Aquarius is everything from your individuality. Uh, it's our social groups, our social networking. Um, it is social, you know, it is our friends. Um, it is the collective. It is uh, ideas, inventions. And you have the hangman here. So if you think that you've been stuck in a particular uh, kind of set up in a particular kind of situation. It's because you need to see things differently. You've been operating from a way of what society has been showing you, but a lot of that is pre-programming. A lot of that is is dis is disconnected you from reality, the true reality. I'm not talking about the reality of what people want you to see, but the real reality. And you would only know that when you go within with the hangman. So there's a space of really needing to see things differently, needing to see love differently, needing to see what family and partnership is because there's some type of old structure that is still hindering you <clears throat> that you got to work on, okay? And your house, Pisces, which is the 12th house, uh, which is everything from the subconscious. It's also uh, what you don't see coming. It's hidden truths, it's fears, it's illusions, it's fantasies, it's dreams. You have the seven of wands here. This could go a lot of different ways. And um, some of you need to stand up and fight for what you believe in. Uh, some of you need to uh, take a stance on what's right in your life. Um, some of you could be coming off a little bit too defensive with the seven of wands. We'll see which way is this going when we start to clarify. But when I see it over the lover's card here, I feel like some of you need to stand and fight for love. I feel like for some of you, you're not. You're just kind of uh, kind of throwing in the towel. For some of you, I feel like for, in the month of July, you will fight for love. You will stand up and fight for what you truly believe in. You will go for it which is a very beautiful thing. Um, but again, for some of you, you could be very defensive and not even know. Overall energy uh, for the month is the motherfucking magician. Yes. 
So bottom of the deck, you got the world in reverse. Something is not over. You might've thought something was over. It's not. Uh, we're going to talk uh, more about that, but I love that the magician is coming out for your ultimate energy. And that means that you are a manifester. You are a creator. You are the one who's going to create this lifestyle that you want or this love that you want or this partnership that you want. But you have to fucking believe that you can put this shit together. You have to believe that you can have it because if you don't fucking believe that you can have it, Pisces, guess what? You can't and you won't. Okay. So you have to step up and kind of understand that you can. All right. So let's get the kipper and go around uh, one time and kind of get you um, some clarity and see what's going on about this beautiful energy that I see. Um, like I said, it, it looks really, really good for this uh, month. Um, so far, uh, we'll see some parts can, I guess we can, of course, do better. Some parts we actually can, you know, grow, but for the most part, your energy is looking pretty good. Okay. So let's see this Aries placement, um, the uh, placement of self. What is going on? Great fortune. See, spirit says, be patient. You're bringing in the fortune. You're bringing in, uh, you know, everything that you're working for. Everything is balanced. Everything is balanced. There's nothing that's going to happen for you if you don't balance. Even alchemy as the magician there is balance in alchemy, okay? There is balance in everything that you do. Um, so spirit is telling you with this balance, you are going to create this beautiful life that you want. So be patient with yourself and with others as you're moving along. If you're dealing with an Aries, I feel like this person wants to heal the situation. I feel like this person is looking at you as someone that they see your wealth or they, they at least see that you're, either they see the money that you have, Pisces, so be careful. Okay. Either they see the money that you have, they see that you can be wealthy or they see the great fortune that you bring in. Um, but I do feel like there's a sense of this person wanting to heal things with the temperance. Um, in the extent, it will go a bit deeper on this areas and see what else is it that they're expecting or wanting from you. Okay. And see where is that going? But when it comes to you, I feel like you need to be patient with yourself. Um, I do feel like you're going to get everything that you are, you know, working towards it's coming. Um, in the Taurus uh, placement, Spirit is saying this is your person. If you were wondering, they're, they're, they are confirming this Taurus energy is your twin flame. Uh, they are your divine union. They are your soulmate. And this person, whoever you're thinking about for this reading, is your person. This There's a value changing. This person also could be changing the way they value and see the connection as well. But Spirit is kind of saying, hey, this is your official person. Now, what are you going to do about it? Okay. For those of you dealing with the Taurus, I do feel like spirit is confirming. This is your person. This is your official person. You don't need to keep looking. You don't need to keep asking Pisces. This is your person. Okay. Now, what are you going to fucking do about it? In the extended, we're going to look and see where is this going with this person? Who is this Taurus? And uh, what does that mean for this connection? Because it's a very deep connection. It's a very beautiful connection and a very spiritual connection. Number 22, synchronicity. Okay. Um, all right. What's the Gemini placement? All right. We got two coming out. So in the Gemini placement, we got main female and the pathway. So there, you know, there is a pathway here to happiness, right? There is this divine pathway uh, to happiness. And we have the 10 of cups, we have the main female, and we have the pathway. So spirit is saying there is light at the end of the tunnel. You and this person will be happy. The butterflies are symbolizing transformation. Um, Pisces, I do feel like if you're dealing with the Gemini, this person sees you as their main person. This person, you do bring this person happiness with the Ten of Cups. It's just that it's going to take a little longer for you and this person to come together, maybe a year to two years, um, because of the path that you're on. It just makes it a little bit more difficult. And it doesn't have to be, but you two of you make it difficult, okay? It's not that the path needs to be difficult. It's that you're making and creating it harder than what it needs to be. But there's a lot of love with you in this Gemini energy, okay? And even if it's not a Gemini, Spirit is telling you the person that you're connected to is that you guys are on this path and it is going to take a while because of the way that you guys have been going, okay? In the extent, it will look more into the Gemini and see um, what is this Gemini bringing? Um, why is it taking so long uh, for you and this person to get to your happy place and what can you do about it, okay? All right, let's see this cancer placement. What's going on in the cancer, in the cancer placement? All right, we have a child. So we have a new beginning here um, in the cancer placement here. 
Um, this could be that there is a child being born. We are in the placement of a mother. So some of you guys could be having childhood issues that are coming out that you need to deal with as well um, with this placement. Something from the past is here that you need to deal with, uh, whether it is issues with your mom, whether it's issues with the child, maybe you lost a child. My condolences go to you if you do, if you did. Um, but maybe something is coming up with having a child, wanting a child. Um, and whatever this is, is something that you need to deal with. This child card does symbolize new beginnings. So whether it is that someone is pregnant and you're about to have a kid or that there's a child on the way, um, whatever this energy is, is symbolized that there is a way to get to a new beginning if we can conquer the past, okay? So in the extent, if you're dealing with a cancer, I do feel like this is a person from the past uh, that you've dealt with. And I do feel like... Um, there, this person does want a new beginning with you. I feel like this person still loves you very much. Um, but I also feel like there's something from the past that we need to work through to get to the new beginning. Okay. I, I in the extended, we're going to see where it's going with this person. Okay. All right. Let's go to the Leo placement. Let's see what's going on in the Leo placement. Why you got cards upon cards? Won't. Yeah, see, I told you somebody is, uh, I wasn't, but Spirit said, no, we're taking that one. <laughs> we're taking that one. Somebody is definitely in a very bad and dark space. Um, somebody is going through some things if you're dealing with a Leo. Um, like I told you, somebody is very isolated. This could be you, Pisces. You could be isolating yourself after dealing with a Leo. But somebody is in a very dark place of loss. Um, I really feel like whatever this situation is, um, this could be legalities. This could be uh, going through court, divorce. This could be going through um, a custody battle uh, with a child and stuff. I feel like whatever this is, it's huge. It's got a lot of people involved. Uh, some people might be having to deal with some just really shitty experiences right now. And so you're just kind of keeping to yourself. And this is why uh, we're staying to ourselves. Um, in the extent, I'm going to go deeper in this because I feel like some of you, it's depressed depression that you're dealing with. And um, Spirit is telling you to seek professional help with these two, with the courthouse and the community. Um, I feel like it's seek um, professional help. Seek guidance from the people around you. Um, for, some pe for some of you, this is like a lot of... Um, some of you could have the weight of the world on your shoulders and you need to learn how to deal with that and release that. Um, for some of you, whatever this is for you, it has hurt you in a way that it's kind of crazy. And whoever this uh, Leo is most likely is like suing you or taking your money or something like that. There's just some very public shit that happened between you and this person that I feel like it just went downhill. In the extent, we're going to look more into that to get you a little bit more clarity, but a very dark energy when it comes to this. And I don't mean dark like demon. I mean dark like depressive, sad uh, loss uh, that goes with this very isolated energy. And this Leo could be in a very bad place. So if you know that you don't want this person back, but you know that whatever happened with you and this person uh, was very traumatic and you had anything to do with it, reaching out to see how this person is is not a bad thing as we have the despair. And I can tell you that despair card has come out for me. And when it does, it's a very harsh energy that comes in of sadness. So you might want to reach out to that person, okay? Um, all right, I'm not going to take all of those. But in the Virgo placement, uh, we have the mature man and we have the sudden wealth. And so we have the death card in reverse. So um, when it comes to your day-to-day, -day, again, Pisces, I feel like there's a sense of maturity coming in. I do feel like there's a sense of knowing your worth, like something changes. Either you start to understand your worth or this person starts to understand your worth. Sudden wealth is not always just money coming in. Of course, in the extended, we're going to look deeper to see what the sudden wealth card is. But I feel like this is more towards someone actually seeing somebody's worth. So whether it's the Virgo looking at you and saying, oh my God, I see Pisces worth, or you looking at the Virgo and being like, oh shit, I see Virgo's worth now. And man, what was I thinking? I'm losing, you know, this, this wealth of this treasure. Um, and I do feel like someone is maturing. Um, you could have like a father energy um, also because the mature man is here. You could have like a father energy that's kind of assisting you giving you guidance to try to get you to see some things. This is someone who's in your everyday life. Of course, the mature man. So whether it's a Virgo or not, it's someone who's in your life um, on a regular basis. Maybe someone who's trying to assist you. Um, 
there could also be some type of a um, you know, passed down from, from family as well. Not like after a death, cause I'm not feeling that, but it could be like something that's passed down. Um, all right. In the seventh house, we have the page of swords and we have thoughts. Like I said, somebody's not talking. And so, you know, Pisces, you could be sitting here thinking about this person. Like, why isn't this person reaching out? They could be thinking like, why isn't Pisces reaching out? Um, so I feel like it's a lot of thoughts about each other, but no actual action. Um, if you're dealing with a Libra again, um, I definitely do not feel there's any communication with you and this person. And there's definitely a lack of communication between you and this person. But I do feel like this person thinks about you a lot. And it doesn't matter if this person is a Libra or not, because we're in the seventh house, which is your partnership house. So whoever this person is, you both are thinking about each other. So again, what are we going to do about it, right? In the extended, we're going to look a little bit deeper and see, well, is this person going to come towards you? Is this person going to reach out to you? Or are they just going to continue to think about you, <laughs> you know, because I mean, it's a possibility, right? It's a possibility that they just continue to think about you. Um, all right. I gotta, I'm trying to move that one out the way. All right. Um, eighth house Scorpio placement. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, there's endings and new beginnings. And what we'll have to see is if this two of cups, if it's done, if it's over, is this the ending to you and this beautiful connection. And I do feel like for some of you, you have to end something to get this. Something has to end. Something is transforming. There's something in your life, Pisces, that has to transform before you come into this loving union, okay? It just, it is. That's what Spirit is kind of showing you through the whole thing. Something has to end to get to the next phase. So if you really want it, you're going to go through it or you're going to miss an opportunity here. In the extended, we're going to see. I think um, with this, I cannot tell you if the Scorpio wants you back or is moving on to someone else because we have the coffin and we have the two of cups. So although I see a, a feel and see a very deep connection between you and someone else, it very well could be over and someone's not allowing it to end. As right here, we have the death card right below it in the, in the reverse. So I feel like someone could definitely be trying to hold on to something that needs to end here. Um, but if you're dealing with a Scorpio, any extent it will look further because honestly, I, could, I know that you guys are deep soulmates, right? But I don't know if it's over or not. This person could be walking on or this person could be coming back. Well then, all right. So in the Sagittarius house, we have, okay, we have the three of wands, the marriage card and the false person, okay? So this can go so many fucking ways, but I'll tell you what I'm feeling. So um, for some of you, your traditions and belief systems, remember, this is the ninth house. This is the house of our traditions in our belief systems. Some of you guys have built your belief systems on false pretenses. It's not real. What you think marriage is, isn't real. What you think you got to do to get marriage isn't real. What you think marriage is supposed to be isn't real. It's society bullshit. So spirit is telling you, this false person is telling you that some of you guys are, have built your belief systems on some bullshit. And this is what you guys need to dismantle. This is what you guys need to look at. You need to ask yourself, what am I truly asking for in a relationship? What am I truly asking for in a partnership? What am I truly requiring from a relationship? Okay. Some of you guys are lying to yourself and telling you that you don't want to get married, that you don't want to have love, that you don't need a partner, which is full of shit. You have the marriage card here. Okay. Um, the next part about this, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, I do got to, I do got to look into this because we, we have the false person which is someone not telling the truth, right? So Pisces, either you're not telling the Sagittarius that you want to marry them and they're really your person, or the Sagittarius is not being honest to you and is not telling you, right? Somebody in this dynamic is fucking lying, right? The other part about this is that the three of wands is here. So Spirit is kind of telling you, you need there's some type of weight or patience to get to this partnership. But what I'm going to see is, are you lying or is this other person lying in the extended about, because somebody may have a marriage. I mean, I have to be honest with you. The false person here is somebody may already be in a partnership. Somebody may already be taken. Somebody may already be intended for somebody else. So I'm going to make sure you're not wasting your time with the Sagittarius energy in the extended and see, is this your person or are you waiting 
for the wrong reasons? Are you waiting for someone to, to hold out for you? And it's never going to be. And of course, cross watchers, my Sagittarius, if you're watching, I'm going to see if, you know, you're wasting your time waiting on the Pisces because possibly it could be a false person and it's not your person. Okay. All right. Let's go into the um, Capricorn placement. Now, when it goes into your career in the Capricorn uh, placement, things are going to get better as you have the high honors. So even if it doesn't feel good right now, Pisces, even if it doesn't feel um, like it's going to get anywhere in this moment, a spirit is telling you that things are going to change. You are going to have a level of achievement. Something beautiful is going to come in. So if things have not been good in the career department, it will change. Okay. You are going to start to see that. Now, if you're dealing with the Capricorn, I do feel like this person tends to try to, um, stronghold the situation or control the situation with money. Um, this person possibly likes to assist you or say that they like to assist you, but they do it in a selfish way. So be careful with that. I, in the extent, I'm going to look at this a, a little, um, a further, of course, we'll go into it in the extent, because I feel like this person tends to use material gain um, for the situation, but is that really healthy for you guys? I do feel like there's a spiritual connection or a high level um, connection with you and the Capricorn. I just feel like there, I don't feel like it's a lesson per se, but I do feel like there's a higher level of something to learn from each other. Um, but unfortunately, I feel like this person uses their material um, side to kind of stronghold the situation. And I'm not really liking that. So any extent, it will look a little further to see what's going on with that. All right, let's see this Aquarius placement. All right, in the Aquarius placement, we do have the mature woman. Now we do have a pair. We have the mature man and the mature woman. This might mean, be, mean also to some of you that the person that you're thinking of, you and this person may not come back together until you guys are a little bit older and more mature to be able to handle your connection, okay? Um, the other part about this is that um, some of you guys, uh, it could be taboo your connection or relationship could be taboo. Maybe there's an age difference between you and this person. Um, maybe there's some other type of cultural difference. Uh, with the hangman in this card, it just feels like there could be a lot of things, especially in the 11th house, um, that make this weird. Maybe it's a same sex relationship. Um, maybe, you know, there's a lot of things that could be, uh, again, in the extended, we'll look into this a little bit further. Um, for some of you, um, I do feel like someone is taking the time to mature, see things differently. Um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, I don't know per se that they're coming towards you with the hangman. I feel like this person is just kind of sitting and thinking about things. Um, they are doing it in a mature fashion because they're sitting here and they're really allowing spirit to guide them. Um, but they're they're really looking at everything. And the biggest thing I want to say is that they're looking at it in a way of, um, observation, like, is this for my highest good? And I like that they're looking at it like that. Now, Pisces, you could be looking at the situation like that as well. It could be vice versa, where you're looking at it. Um, in the extent, it will go a bit deeper and see this also, whoever this Aquarius is, could have a mother figure that's in the way. Um, sometimes people have mother and father that are all in their business, and that could be it too. Okay, we'll see who the mature woman is. And your placement, which is the Pisces placement, we have messages of concern. So again, um, I don't want to say someone, you know, might be um, defensive, but they might, you know, message of concern could be anything. If you're dealing with another Pisces, again, you know, like I said, somebody could be very defensive in their energy, or is it that maybe we need to be a little aggressive in this situation? I don't know. In the extent, we're going to look a little bit deeper and see what are these messages and who are they coming from? What is this that you don't see coming towards you? And do you need to stand your ground or do you need to lay down the weapons? Okay, we're going to see um, about that in the extended. All right. And your overall energy for the month, I feel like for a lot of you, is it, it's making it happen. Making it happen for your family, making it happen for your home, with the home space. A lot of you guys could be saying, how do I create this life that I want for myself and my children? How do I create this very comfortable, wealthy life? As you see, this is a family room. Remember, you are the creator. You are the magician. You are the one with the power to do so. If you believe it, you can attain it. But you have to believe it, Pisces. Always, 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 you have to believe it. So I do feel like there's a lot of energy centered around family and what that looks like coming up. Even if you're single, 
I feel like you're really thinking about family and you're really thinking about what does that look like for you? Okay. Now that's what I got for you guys for this month. For those of you that are going to come on over to Vimeo and check out the, uh, extend it. We're going to go deeper into these placements in, uh, in these areas of your life and see what's coming out and what's transcribing. Um, for those of you who are not, um, I will see you on the next video or I will see you next month as always sending you guys so much love, so much light. Bye.